Bakhmut is a hellhole, the bloodiest and longest battle of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and two young Canadian men are among its latest victims. Cole Zelenko of St. Catharines on the left was just 21, and 27-year-old Kyle Porter of Calgary. The two served in Ukraine's International Legion and became friends. They were with Ukrainian troops defending a crucial supply route when they were hit by Russian artillery fire Wednesday and killed. They are the fourth and fifth Canadians to die in combat since Russia's invasion. Our CBC News team met Kyle Porter in Kharkiv last spring. He was volunteering with an urban search and rescue team, pulling victims out of the rubble after Russian rocket attacks. Sounds like this has been a pretty significant experience for you, perhaps even traumatic. Or his cruelty. Still, even then, he sounded like there was more for him to do. I am hoping to come back at some point in a different role. We'll see. Porter was texting with CBC News three days before his death. He had been to Bakhmut before and was anxious. Let me figure out how I'm going to survive the next few days, he wrote. It was a meat grinder the first time. I'm not expecting it any better this time around. They have made the ultimate sacrifice. Calgarian Paul Hughes, who runs a charity in Kharkiv, is helping with efforts to bring Porter's body back from the battlefield. They served uh, and represented Canada in a in 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 the most um, respectful fashion. Um, apparently, they were the most trustworthy members of their unit. In a statement on a GoFundMe page, Cole Zelenko's family said he died a hero through his kindness, sense of humor, and loyalty. Kyle Porter's friends and family said he had saved the lives of many wounded soldiers, and his commanders had recommended him for a medal to recognize his gallantry. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.